Good morning. It's uh, 6 a.m. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to film this because I'm running late, but um, I'm going to Catalina. Catalina is a big inspiration for me and like a lot of my artwork, so I figured it'd be really cool if I made a video just about Catalina and my trip. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're at the, uh, the Catalina terminal. If I look this way, it's over there. It's kind of hard to see. Here's all my all my stuff. So I'm gonna start going that way. I'm so excited. Catalina now is really pretty. It's kind of cold, a little colder than it usually is. Uh, but yeah, wow, look at that. Look at Catalina. Wonderful, isn't it? I'm in line right now to check in for my campsite. I know it looks like I'm directly on a beach, but I'm actually on a pier. Wow, incredible, you know? The magic of uh, the angles of lenses. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna check in and then I'm gonna walk all the way to camp, which means I have to walk up that giant hill right there, which sucks. All right, we're walking up the hill. First of all, the view's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice. But this is the hill. Oh, it sucks a lot. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna get to the top of the hill. Ah. We're doing it. We're making so much progress. Ah. I ran for like a second. I'm exhausted, holy shit. This hill sucks. So this is camp, it's pretty sweet. We're in a tent cabin, which is quite nice. Got our fire pit right over here. Yeah, very good, little cooking great. Got our little picnic bench and the shade top thingy. Nice, nice. Water, hell yeah. And then, that's where the uh, rattlesnake was here this morning. That was fun. We've got a little visitor under the uh, thing. He was poking his head out earlier, so that's pretty exciting. And then inside, we've got our cots all set up. A little changing room, which is missing a panel because it's my towel, which is the other panel. Food, more cots. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The view might be the best part though. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous.
It's pretty windy right now, uh, but it's probably not gonna be this hot for the rest of the trip while I'm here. So I'm gonna take this chance to go snorkeling, swimming, snorkeling, one of the two, a combination, uh, and see if I can get any good underwater video with the little uh, with the little GoPro. There's a rock behind me. It's because it's really windy and I I wanted the audio quality to be somewhat okay and if I sit out away from the rock the wind is much worse. So the rock is gonna have to stay for now. Um Oh jeez! Holy shit, there's a there's a squirrel over there. It scared the living daylights out of me. Oh my arm's getting tired. Saw some cool fish. Hopefully you'll see that in the video. Uh, I really hope that the footage turned out nice because I swam and I recorded the entire time. So hopefully that looked cool. Also, I've noticed a weird thing. It's that when I used to record myself talking, I would be very comfortable with talking to the camera and acting like it was just a camera. There's ravens now over there. Hold on. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Look at that guy, they just flew over and landed on those sticks. Anyway. So I used to be really comfortable talking to the camera because I wasn't trying to make videos, I guess. I was just having fun every once in a while. The seagull just flew over me. And now that I'm trying to do a good job at like actually making cool videos, it makes it really hard to be comfortable in front of the camera because I'm kind of judging myself constantly and being like, oh, you should have said something different there. You should have worded that differently. You should have done better. You're not doing good enough. People are going to judge you. You're not doing well. Whatever. It's really easy to like get in my head and not feel good about what I'm putting out. But I just have to keep reminding myself that like, hey, I'm learning, you know? Don't put your thumb in front of the camera. That's bad. Don't do that. And part of learning is taking breaks. Um, I don't take very many breaks usually. I have pretty much, I mean, I guess since the pandemic started, I mean, there hasn't been like a whole lot of breaks that I've taken. And even when I do take breaks, it's usually something where um, I'm still kind of working. Like I visited some friends up north and that was pretty cool. Uh, that was just before I started making videos, I think. And um, I helped paint their baby room and like it was definitely a vacation. It was like a trip away to do something fun. But um, it was also a job, you know? Kinda. It was still a project. It was still an art project. And I did actually try to record uh, like a time lapse of me working on the room, but my camera was still so new that I didn't know that it had a time limit of 30 minutes per clip. So I just thought it was recording for like hours and hours and hours and hours and I was like, sick. 
I'm just gonna like turn all these into a time lapse. I'll time lapse the whole room. It'll be so sick. And then when I got home, it was like, oh, I I bar I didn't catch like any of the recording of it. I had like six hours of me starting part of it, and then it would cut out in about 30 minutes because that was the limit. But anyway, I'm getting way off topic there. Okay, it's breaks are important. Take breaks sometimes. Okay, like. It's really easy to get caught up in like working and working and working and working and working and like forgetting about things that you enjoy doing. And that's kind of what I'm trying to make this video. Shush, I'm recording right now. That's kind of what I'm trying to make this video is just, I want to make it for fun. I want to make it for me. Also, I hit 300 subscribers like yesterday and I was in the grocery store and I actually like started tearing up a little bit in the grocery store which is like really stupid I feel like I don't know it's just really cool because I didn't think that I would get that many subscribers and like 300 people thought my videos were interesting enough to subscribe I just feel really good about that and I, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for this <laughs> okay Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and like supporting me and watching my videos and just checking out what I'm doing. Uh, it's like, it's a new challenge. It's hard to make videos. They're very time intensive and, but I'm having fun with it, you know? I'm enjoying it. But yeah, okay, back to the back to the rest of the shenanigans in this video. I don't know what I'm doing next because there's some snorkeling, so.
So today I'm gonna rent a bike and take you guys around to some cool places, hopefully. We might go to a secret spot, but I'm not sure if we'll make it there yet or not. But yeah, it'll be fun, I think. Alright, so the first place that I brought you guys to check out is uh, Cat Harbor. This is the other side of the island. It's literally just like, like over there. You can't quite see it, but that's the other side where we came from. Uh, there's a lot of dead things here, which can be kind of gross, but also I think it's pretty interesting. But yeah, dead stuff shows a lot of interesting things that happened. So let's have a little poke along the beach. First thing I noticed was this really big fish vertebrae. Like, look at how big that is. That's crazy. I don't know what it's from, but this big fish. Nice piece of driftwood. This beach is definitely not one that you come to to like enjoy. It's kind of kind of fucking gross to be quite honest, but I still think it's interesting. There's more big fish bones. Look at that. I don't know what part this is, but look. You can barely fit it all the way on the camera. That's crazy. I wonder how close I can get to this bird. I think it's one of those skimming birds. It's got the longer lower beak than the upper beak. I don't know what they're called. Put that on screen if I uh, figure it out. There he goes. This side of the beach looks a little bit nicer. Sometimes you can see leopard sharks. So let's see if we can see any of them. Yeah, they usually blend in with the shore. But sometimes you can see the little tips of their fins sticking up. Most of what you can see, if you can see it in the water, is tips of kelp. Whoa. I think these are like clams or something. Oh wow, they're all along the beach. That's pretty cool. Crazy. Part of me wants to try and dig one up, but I feel like that would be kind of weird. So I'll just let it be. I don't see any of the leopard sharks yet. That'd be kind of cool, but I can never figure out when their best time to see them is. So I stopped here for a quick rest stop on my journey, and it is really pretty. Like, wow, look at all these trees. It's just all dappled lighting and trees. There's a really nice breeze going through here. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. It's so peaceful and quiet. I love it. I'm almost to the really cool spot I want to show you guys. I'm really tired because I've been on a bike for about an hour, I think. I'm trying to get to this spot. I'm currently in the middle of, you can still see the ocean, but I'm kind of 
closer to like the inside of the island. I'll, I'll do a shot of that so you guys can see. But I'm like five minutes away from where I've been biking to all morning. I lost my towel, so that's a little unfortunate. Fell off at some point. Some point recently, because the last time I took a break, it was on my bike still, so. I don't know where it went. Probably find it on the way back, though. Because I'm not going to stay for too long. I only have the bike for eight hours. Hopefully I don't die out here. Hopefully this isn't like my found footage. How What happened to him? Hopefully I don't die. That'd be nice. It feels, it's kind of a weird feeling to be so out in the middle of nowhere, kind of. Like it's just kind of empty hills. I mean, right down the hill, there's literally a Boy Scout camp, so I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm sure I won't die out here. I made it to the beach. I didn't die. Oh my gosh, the last little hill, like going up and down, all the way down to the beach, was treacherous. It, there were so many like rock piles and weird stair step things and really steep hills. I had to like walk down it, and it uh, it wasn't the greatest, but we made it. I am at this beach that I've been wanting to get to for like a long time. I'm gonna try not to tell you guys where the beach is because I feel like it needs to be a secret maybe a little bit. But um, I mean, there are other people here too. It's not, it's not like a private beach or anything. So I've already found a couple of the things that I want to that I wanted to find. Uh, I just I put my bike down. And I just started beach coming like immediately because I was just like, I'm ready. And I left my phone in my bag because I didn't want it to get wet which was smart because immediately I got splashed by a big wave, which would have hit it. And I think it did actually soak my uh, my wallet and my, my one of my face masks, but um, that's not a big deal. Uh, I, have a, I have another one in my bags, it's okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some beach combing now and see if I can get me finding what I'm gonna be looking for on camera, cause that'd be pretty cool. Also, I'm gonna show you what I found so far. I haven't found a whole lot, but there's a couple of pretty good ones in there. All right, so most of these, well, some of these can look like kind of normal rocks, but also some of them look a little special. And that's because this beach has amethysts just on, on the shore, just around, you know? And we figured this out uh, quite a few years back. We stopped by this beach and just did a little bit of beach coming just for fun. And I found amethysts just along the along the coast. And the, I'm not sure if the, okay. So this, obviously an amethyst. Like this is the best one that I found today. It's got a few others that are pretty good. Some of these are very pale or just look like white rocks, but they've kind of been like bleached by the sun. Some just have like a teeny tiny bit of color. There's some purple right on the tip of this one. Um, I don't know what this is. I just kind of grabbed it because it looked cool. Could be amethyst. I don't think it is, though. And then, of course, we got a little piece of sea glass. Very fun. But yeah, so let's see if we can find any more of these. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. There's one. So last time I checked this side of the beach, it was kind of a while ago. Also, wow, look at these rocks. They're cool. And I usually only check one side because I usually find a lot there. But the current is coming from the other side and pushing them onto the side that I usually find them at. So I find, I usually find the amethyst on the right side of the beach. And I don't usually check the left side because I haven't found very many in the past. But the current is coming from the left side of the beach and pushing towards the right. So I think if I go to the left side of the beach, I'll actually find some good amethysts. This is technically amethyst rock, but it's not pretty, so I'm not gonna pick it up. Oh, this is, holy shit. This is also technically amethyst rock. It's also not very pretty, but you can kind of see how it's like purplish. Maybe the left side of the beach is where I should have been looking this whole time. I'm not going to take this one with me because it's ugly and it's big, but I'll stick that right there. Someone else can find it. Oh, here we go. That's a good one. Okay, maybe the left side is actually the way to go. I'm seeing a lot more 
like a lot higher concentration so far. And I think I've read, isn't it iron that makes amethyst purple? Because originally they're just normal, uh, like quartz crystals. I think that might be what it is. Is that also what turns old glass purple? I'll write it on the screen if that's what that does. I'll look it up and figure out, make sure my facts are right. Also, sorry for any wind noise. I'm sure there's a ton of it. It's pretty windy out here today. Whew. That ocean. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Look at that. Into the bag. I'd really like to find some that are like still kind of sharp. Ideally, I could find where they're coming from. Oh, here's another one. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this little one. Oh, it's still got some of the, the base rock on it. Yes, look, crystal shape. Ooh. I don't want to get swept away. Okay, I'm sure you can see it from here, but I think I just found like the coolest piece of amethyst of the entire trip. Oh my, it goes all the way around. Look at that. Look at these bands. Oh, that is cool. I've never seen a rock like this. I was just making my way back to my bike to go have a granola bar and I looked down and this was just sitting there. Gosh dang. That's beautiful. That's a cool rock. All right, so I set up this little table of flat rocks to show you guys what I found. So I've got a lot, a lot of rocks. This bag was full of apples and now it's full of rocks. So, first of all, there's a look inside the bag. I did collect some other rocks too, besides uh, what I was looking for, but, you know. So we've got this pretty big, pretty big one. It's got some nice color to it. Should maybe do this on a table. I don't want, got this one, pretty ugly. Not gonna lie, probably gonna leave this one here. I'll put that uh, top part of the table. Keep 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 stuff will be at the bottom of the table. A uh, donation will be up there. Got a flat rock, just cause it's cool. Got a really cool stripy rock. Look at that. Uh, I grabbed this little one too, just cause it had some nice like rust colors to it. Got another. Kinda ugly one. Might leave this one here too. Got this weird looking rock. Look at that. This side's kinda normal looking, but this side's got all these weird patterns on it. I like it. Oh, this one's kinda cool. It's got that kappa purple on it. Nice little, little piece of candy, you know. This one's pretty rough looking. Not the best. There are some structures in there, but it's definitely a rougher one. The, oh, the one of the coolest ones we've found yet. Color's not bright, but it's cool. The, those bands, very nice. Here's another rough one. This one's got some better crystalline structures though, and I kinda like the shape, so let me keep it. Got a stripey rock, you know? This one, oh, this is a nicer one. Big, got some streaks in it. A little rough in color, but nice enough, you know. Another flat, little flat rock. This rock is cool because it reminded me of a bone. Might be a fossil, but probably not. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice little one. A little round, purplish. I'll just put you in the bag now. So there's the rest of the stuff. A lot of it is... Why did I pick this up? It's just a rock. So we got some really nice tiny ones in this uh, this this trip. I think this one's probably the the absolute best one that I've found today. It's just bright purple, rounded, very very translucent. Can't tell if you could see that or not. I don't think it was in focus, but. It's a nice one. 
It's about as good as it gets, I think. This one, I th I'm not sure if I recorded myself picking this one up, but it still had a little cap of the original rock it came off of. It was kind of like a little spike shape. Really like that. Whew, pretty much the haul today. And yeah, I'd say it was pretty worth it. It was quite nice out. For a nice, pretty day. Nice, quiet beach. Pretty cool. Now I just have to hike and bike all the way back to two harbors. Oh boy. All right, I'm heading back to two harbors, back to camp. Wish me luck, I got a ways to go. I'm pretty tired, but I think I'll get there okay. Just rode up on some deer. Sorry, dear. There's a mom over there. A little baby. Pretty cool. So I went a little delirious riding back. Look, we're back. I didn't die. I thought I was gonna die there for a couple times. Ooh, boy. I'm so fucking tired. But I'm back at the two harbors. We're back. I don't even know if it's going to make it into the video, but I feel so accomplished. I went all the way there. I went all the way back. And I made it and I didn't die. I'm tired. I'm going to cook some steaks. I lost my towel. It's gone forever. I kept an eye out for it, it did not turn up. My towel's gone. Which is kind of a bummer, I liked that towel, it's from Costco. It's a good towel. Oh well, it's gone now. Look it, look, oh I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be back and not on a bike. Well, I still, the bike's still here, but, like, you know what I mean. Uh, but, uh, hold on, I'll be back. I got some friends arriving on the boat, so I'm gonna go pick them up. Looks like we got some quails in the path. Where will they go? Oh, up into the brush. Yo, there's their boat.
We're going for a night hike. Night hike. Me and Ame. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This shit's sick. We're gonna climb on uh, top of a hill. I'll show you guys when we're on top of a hill, I guess. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. We're gonna take some sick pictures Hell of the yeah. stars and we found some cute little sow bugs. Oh, look at them. Look at these cute little dudes. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, buddy. There. I'm sorry. Oh, look, another one. Where? He just popped out. Oh, little tiny dude. Oh, so cute. I love them. Love the little antennas and such. They're so cute. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh so cute. Yo, we found some beach hoppers just up in this seaweed. Yeah, look at that. Look at them go. The just, whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Got spooked. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean oh, to interrupt your shoes. lunch. I can see you, little fox. We're going hiking up the big hill and there's a little fox over there watching us. Thinks it's being sneaky, but we see it. Super cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye, fox. Bye-bye. We did it, we climbed the mountain. We did. It was, it sucked. Getting down was probably the worst part. Yeah, holy shit. Also, we look like evil. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see where we're going now. <laughs> now we're gonna go back to camp and go the fuck to bed. Oh yeah, crashing now. <laughs> All right, I'm tired. I'm finally home. And I'm finally actually filming the outro because I actually forgot to film it while I was still in Catalina. So, please just pretend like I am still in Catalina. This is definitely Catalina. It's just what it looks like. You know you've seen it. I've shown you it, and it looks like this. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. Leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!